the Schneider M221 is a low-cost logic controller with advanced capabilities. This video is to demonstrate its use as remote I.O. on an Ethernet IP network. The M221 is available in a brick style shown here on the left or in a book style shown on the right. It's expandable using Schneider's TM3 expansion modules as well as application cassettes that snap onto the front. The M221's I.O. flexibility, local control option, Modbus RTU master capable serial port, and low price point make it a viable option as remote I.O. for an Ethernet IP network. For this demo, I'm using this M221 in the upper right corner. I have an input toggling on and off, and I'm using this Compact Logix to scan the M221 over Ethernet IP. To configure the M221, I'm going to use EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic by Schneider Electric, a free download off their website. Highlighting the Ethernet port gives me the ability to set up the IP parameters as well as enable the Ethernet IP protocol. Selecting the Ethernet IP adapter in the left, you can see the input assembly instance, output assembly instant, instance, and the number of shared words. Here I've just used Alan Bradley's generic Ethernet module, added it to my Ethernet port, set up using its IP address, and then of course the input and output assembly instances and the number of words that matches what was I set up in the Schneider software. After downloading, you can see I'm getting the data here. That's my, uh, I have a one in a register which I am adding to the I.O., to the I.O. word in the controller. So I'm seeing it go from one to two, one to two, following this input light here on the PLC. Using explicit messaging gives me a higher level of control over my update rate, much beyond the 3.2 second maximum allowed with implicit messaging, plus it's TCP connection based, which might make it easier for routing. So here I've got a timer, a self-resetting timer, that's firing a couple of message blocks. The first one is reading instance 100 into an array. The second block is taking the contents of an array and writing it in instance 150. Keep in mind, these numbers came from the Schneider software right here. And as you can see, if you watch, I just threw in an equals block to be able to see the data, but you can see it toggling between a one and two as it's doing the reads.